What's up guys, Gids here for another Talker's Trials video and if you still have not completed Talker's Trials Chaos Mode, what are you doing man? <laughs> this is going to be my third guide already. I uploaded first one is a Warwick comp. So if you tried that and it's too hard for you, I uploaded a Vagar comp which is a much simpler version and an easier way to actually beat the game and get a really really high score. And if you are still not able to beat the game with that, then here's a third comp that you can try. It's a multi-striker reroll comp with Jax and Ash as your carries. Okay, so let's get on with it. Let's just make it quick for this discussion because this one's very, very simple. Like multi-strikers is the unga bunga comp in this game mode. Like there's not much thinking needed. Like everything just dies with your multi-strikers as soon as you start your rounds. Okay, so this is basically your main thing is here. So you want Ash, you want Jax, you want these items, you want those items. Well, any items on Jax anyway. So let's clear the board for now and let's start with the stage before the J stage, of course. And generally, you want to find your Ashes. Uh, Jax 2 star, Ash 2 star. You want Regent Guinsu on your Ash. Regent Guinsu is like the most important thing here. And then for other items, Runans is really, really good because Runans basically lets you kill the backline units, random backline units of the enemies. Okay, so it makes it faster and makes it a little bit easier and safer as well. Especially for some stages that are kind of dangerous like the Jace stage. The Jace one with the Vampiric Scepters and Dread Buffs. That one's kind of scary. You also have the, what do you call this, the Zillions with a lot of backlines, right? And of course the Karmas in the late game. So it's either a double Runans if you can get double Runans, but you can also just play Giant Slayer here. Giant Slayer is also fine on Ash. The extra damage that she gives is still pretty good. Okay, for Jax, what you want on Jax is anything tank, right? Anything tank related because you're just gonna have him as a tank unit. Like these items right here are pretty decent. You can also have this. If you don't have these things, you can have like Warmogs maybe or even... You can even have your armor reduction on him because you don't have armor reduction on Ash, right? So you can actually do last whisper as well on ash if you want this is also possible okay so generally those are your item choices but ideally i like this one because it targets two units at a time right and it makes the killing faster and Jax also is pretty good with some ap with the crown guard and healing with bloodthirster i kind of like the healing with bloodthirster as well and the third item is either even shroud or you can just get a gargoyle stone plate okay and then you want to put in a random multi-striker. So it's either Kassadin or it's Akali, right? So those are, this is your level 3, for example. Either that or this. Okay, that's your level 3. Your level 4 could be something like adding a zillion for a chrono or just trying to find your 5 multi-strikers already at level 5. Okay, so this is your level 5 board and before... Before you get into the J stage, you're prob most probably level 4. You're most probably level 4, so let's pro let's give you this. So, yeah. Sure, you're probably gonna get a 2-star Kassadin. If you don't have a 2-star Kassadin, it's fine as well. It's just it's just there for the multi-striker trait. You can, this is the time you roll down for 3-star Jax, 3-star Ash. This is going to be very easy enough because you're gonna have the tiny duplicators as well so yeah it's going to be very very simple and once you hit this guys you can just level up right level up for something like just add in extra frontline just to be safe if your Jax is not tanky enough but i'm pretty sure it should be tanky enough i'm not sure if you can have three item Jax, three ta three item ash already at this stage but you should have at least three items on one unit okay so at this point, yeah, you just fill out your board with random stuff. If you can't find the five multi-striker board yet, then you can put in something like any random thing, like legit any random thing. Well, not that, but you can put the chrono guy for some stuns. This guy can go in for some stuns. We can have two star blitzcrank for some tankiness, two star warwick for some tankiness, right? Two star Jace for some tankiness. It's okay as well. And you can also have Shen if you get lucky with Shen. Right? So this is basically your level 5 board and your J stage. From this point, you want to level up. This is your level 6 board. 
once you get the three star jacks, three star ash, you're actually not rolling for anything anymore. You're just putting in straight bots right here. These are all just straight bots. Jacks and ash should be able to carry already into the late game. So you're just gonna be sitting with this one, and as you level to eight, you're gonna start. Trying to find the other multi-strikers as well if you can, like Kalista over here. And you're not gonna get 7 multi-striker right away for sure because the last unit you need is like Camille, which is a 5 cost unit and you're not gonna get there. So like if you found Kalista, that's good. Then you can just put in another Chrono over here. You can probably drop Kassadin right here for now. Put him on your bench. Right? Put him on your bench for a while and then put in something like probably this guy for some arcana and put the arcana crest on hecarim for more damage reduction and ad at this point itemization wise you can actually itemize kalista with your last whisper now and you can also give him another rage blade if you find another rage blade other tank items can basically go on to time kench right other tank items on to time kench and that's pretty much it okay and then to fill out the whole board to finish up the whole board again you can go with seven multi-strikers right oh not this one but camille and this dude okay so seven multi-strikers is pretty good this is okay this is good and then you can fill it up with like a serath or maybe a briar somewhere you can drop shen as well for like a nasus or a shapeshifter if you want to that's also fine you can actually also drop Akali Kassadin for 5 multi-striker and put in some better 5 cost units like these guys right here. Maybe put in a Nora Yumi, put it on Kalista or Ash. You can actually transfer items over or switch items over to Kalista as well later on in the game. Like something like this, right? Regent Gwinsu on Kalista once you have Kalista 2 star. Okay? And then Jax items can also be transferred over to something like Morgana or maybe on to briar or something right so there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to the late game so whatever you hit just play it right so this one also oh you don't have fairy okay this time you have fairy crown now so yeah <laughs> now you have your fairy crown on kalista something like this right so that's definitely what how you want to play this comp so it's basically just roll for the three star ash roll for the three star jacks and then level up level 9 level 10 and then roll for five cost units and until you hit your three star five cost because again no winning this game mode without a three star five cost so yeah this is my run and this is my ending hey
So yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, if you have any comments, questions, or whatever, let me know in the comments below. I usually try to respond to everyone that comments on to my videos. So yeah, if you need any help and if you are trying something pretty fun, let me know as well in the comments below. But that's it for me for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Never really know just what you want.